So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In the last video I did, it was a part one, I compared the new appearance package, which is called Black Appearance, for the limited to the regular limited with the chrome accents. And today we're gonna take that same limited and we're gonna put it up against a Laramie. I wanna show you the differences in the wheels, the front end fascias, and this is show you what you get for more money. And in this video, I'm going to build a Laramie because this Laramie does not have the options that I want to kind of really give you a good comparison between these trucks. So we're going to put the same options on this truck as this one just to kind of have it apples to apples. And like I said, you will get a better idea of the price to see which one works best for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now up front, if you're not really paying attention, these trucks look identical. You probably wouldn't even notice that there's something different. But the very first thing you can tell, this is gonna be the Laramie on this side. And you can see that you have the straight lines going across in the grill. Now you do have the blackout emblems on the front end. And now if you take a look at the Limited, you're gonna have a little bit more aggressive. It has like nostrils built into the grill. Everything's obviously blacked out too, but you have a better looking design. It's more unique to the Limited, and it looks really nice. I think it looks way better than the Laramie. The Laramie is clean, but this one just looks a little bit more upscale because it is the Limited, and rightfully so, it should look better. But I do like this design better. Now, as far as the headlights go, as you guys know from when they first unveiled this truck, Laramie does come standard with reflector style LED headlights. So if you take a look inside the housing, you have three reflector styles. Now these two on this side are gonna give you your low beam output. And then this one all the way to the left closest to the grill is going to give you your high beam. Now you do have an LED accent light that goes around the headlight right here and it goes down and up. And you are gonna have a incandescent turn signal. Now, if you walk over to the Limited, this is gonna have full LED headlights. The only difference is you have an accent light right there. You have a high and low beam projector style headlight and you have LED turn signals as opposed to having incandescent turn signals on the Laramie. Now these two trucks do have the exact same housing for the fog lights, so there's no differences there. But again, the limited wins on overall headlight design too. Now don't get me wrong, I do like the accent lights on the Laramie too. These headlights are beautiful. I'm just a little bit more partial to limited because I have one, so obviously it's gonna win. But the black appearance, either way you go, would be nice. I mean, either truck you choose, you couldn't go wrong. For example, if you couldn't find the Laramie that you wanted and you can pay the extra five to $6,000 for the Limited, go ahead and do it and vice versa. If you want to save some money, the Laramie gives you a lot of features that the Limited gives you too. It really does make it hard when you're trying to choose. And I'm going to price out a Laramie for you guys at the end of this video. That way you have a better idea of the pricing. Now these are both mega cab trucks and they're only going to come with four wheel drive. So as far as the pricing goes, these trucks are going to be pretty similar. I'm going to build the exact same truck for you guys. Now, if you take a look at this Laramie, this does have a 20 inch wheel and it's riding on the exact same tires as the limited wheel. But just take a look at that design overall and then check out the design for the limited. Now, I will say I do like the overall design of this wheel. And now that I've seen it in a black, I may look for a set of these wheels if they do come available. I'm pretty sure someone's going to buy this truck. They're going to lift it. They're going to put their own wheels and tires on it. And it's going to look amazing, especially with the blackout. But overall, I think it's a toss up with the wheels. What do you guys think? I think these wheels are nice, but the Laramies don't look bad either. Now, they are a little bit more basic. They don't have as much flair as the Limiteds do. But for the most part, I mean, I think either one you go with, you can't go wrong. Now, this does have a higher gloss. I know you probably can't tell because they are dirty, unfortunately. But if you take a look, this is more of like a matted look. So if you like that matted look better than the more bright black or painted black, I should say, you may want to go with this one. Now, when you go down the side of the trucks, not much is different. They have the exact same emblems. I did mention yesterday, if you look at the door handles on the limited without the black appearance, it does give you accents on the door handles. I think Ram cheaped out and gave us these basic door handles that come on the Laramie and down trucks. 
and I think they should have spent the extra R&D, made the package 1095 and gave us the better handles. Again, I know I'm nitpicky. I know you guys are gonna call me a little baby, but I don't really care. If you're spending $85,000 for a truck, you should get the better stuff. I'm sorry, this is how it works. At the end of the day, it would be hard for me to choose because I didn't want black when I first bought my truck. I really wanted a white truck. I really wanted the lighter interior. You cannot get light interior on either one of these trucks. Even if you get the night edition, night edition is gonna give you other exterior paint options like white, gray, red, silver. But if you get black appearance on limited, this is the only color you can get it in. Now this truck, when it was first unveiled, the Laramie had black appearance. They did not have night edition. So now you can get the Laramie with different colors. Hopefully in time, they'll give us more options for the limited. It's wishful thinking. I don't think they're gonna do it. I think that at this point, they don't really need to. But even if they do or don't, the black appearance is more than enough for me. I like this truck. And this is just a better look at those wheels. And as you guys can see, not much is really different on the outside of these trucks when you're looking at the black appearance. Now out back, the only thing that you're gonna see that's different, and if you're looking from this far away, you can't tell, the only thing that's different is this one says Laramie. And this one says Limited. That's the only thing different on the back end of the trucks. They're all gonna have painted grills, bumpers, front and rear, and all the emblems are gonna be blacked out. The only thing that's different about these trucks is the front fascia and the wheels. That's really it. Now, when we go inside the interiors, that's where the Limited starts to take the lead even more. But overall, guys, I like these trucks. It looks like that Laramie is sitting a little bit higher, but it could just be the ground, though. They both have the 4x4 off-road package, which gives them bill stains. You can get optional air suspension with these trucks also. The ride is way better than the coil sprung, which is on these two trucks. I don't believe you can get the off-road package with the air suspension, so just keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and take a look at these interiors, and that way you guys have a better idea of the Laramie and the Limited. Now we're going to start off with the door card on the Laramie as you guys can see they do give you this like suede material and a accent on the door here it's all blacked out you have some satin style on the door also around the speaker surround and for the most part the interior is really nice I mean you have stitching uh, you have this is not real leather but this is leather and suede on the seats very nice design as far as the center console goes you have an open concept, so your cup holders and your storage would be open. And of course, they're all the same, but this does slide and it gives you a lot of space. USBs out front, and you do have an optional uh, phone charger wireless right here. That's the only thing I'm, I'm seeing that's not here on this truck. But this truck is optional with the 12 inch display. I believe the limited is too. I'll let you guys know here in the video. And overall, like you can see, you have Lamry spelt out on the side. There's no wood trim inside this truck. And realistically, you don't really need it for the black appearance. That's one thing I like about this interior is that it is slightly different from what you would get on a regular Lamry. So overall, really nice interior. Let's take a look at the gauges because this is gonna be slightly different too. Oh, is the key not in here? There it is. So it says Laramie. You can see right on the shifter, it's just a hard plastic with aluminum accent right there, or satin. Up top, you have that black trim design. And like I said, you have stitching going across the interior. Now this truck does have a sunroof. I thought it did not have a sunroof. But for the most part, this is a nice interior. Now we're gonna go over to the Limited. I'm gonna show you guys. Now take a look at this steering wheel. Remember everything I'm showing you because there's a difference. Even look at the surround on the speakers. Now out back, again, you still have the exact same accents on the doors. Seats have the suede inserts. And take a look at your speakers on the roof. And I didn't show this to you, but like you have piping also on these seats. And you can see a little bit better here in the sun. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Limited. That way you guys have a better idea of the overall design. 
I'm not trying to brag, but instantly you can see a difference in the overall design. Now, I'm gonna probably bounce back between the trucks here just because I didn't point this out, but you do have leather on top of this door card and you have real wood going around the interior. And just take a look at your leather inserts with the design here. Stitching is a little bit more like apparent in this truck also. And look at your grill surround for your speaker. That is just stunning. Now stepping inside, you can see, again, you have the piping around the seats, but there's just a little bit more design cues on this interior versus the Laramie. Now let's just real quickly, we're gonna look at the door card here at top. This is like a vinyl material. It does have the stitching, which makes it look nice. It does not compete with the Limited. As you saw, you had that real wood design on the door card. Now, the only thing I can really tell you guys is this. A lot of people might say, oh, this is not enough differences for me. But for me, I can tell that there's a difference between these trucks. Um, one thing for certain, when you step in, you can see the wood trim on the steering wheel. You don't have that on the Laramie. And you have a leather dash. Like this is a true leather dash. And you have that real wood trim up top. And if you take a look, and your, where your gauges are, they're just a little bit more nicer. I'm gonna start this truck up. And you have that limited that strikes on the screen. And just look at the overall design. Like even like this piece, this is just a beautiful, beautiful truck, guys. I mean, even on the shifter, you have a leather wrap shifter. You remember on the Laramie, it was all plastic, hard plastic. So there's definitely something to be said about the overall design. Now let's take a look at the center console. And the center console on the Laramie, it was nice. You know, it had the stitching, but this has this really official limited with that design that they have for it. Also, it just looks beautiful. Now, if you remember on the center console, on the Laramie, it was open, right? This one hides everything for you. It looks a lot cleaner. And again, I just think this is just a better overall truck. Now again, we're gonna build a Laramie to see the price differences and see if it's worth it. But on this truck, it does have the charging. I believe this is optional in the limited, so we're not gonna point that out as if it's standard, because it may not be. I'll let you guys know in a second. I'll let you know in the video, as I always do. They both have push button start. You can get push button start on a Tradesman, if you don't know. So Tradesman come with this, but look at the overall design. I think this is a better truck. And it better be for the more money you have to spend for it, but you have to figure out for yourself, you know, what's better. I mean, even this right here, this is just a really nice leather wrap grab handle here. I would like to see them maybe put some more, uh, maybe suede on these pillars, but that's probably the only thing about this truck that probably makes it kind of not stand out from the other ones. Sorry about that guys, my camera was getting really hot. It's 98 degrees out here on a Saturday. It's really, really hot. But on the back doors, same story as up front, you have that beautiful wood trim, beautiful leather. And I don't know if you noticed, but the door handles are slightly darker. So they use a different door material. That's why I kind of made a big deal about the outside door handles. I mean, they already do a good job of making the interior so much different. They should just kind of do the same. But look at the grill design on here. Take a look out on the roof. Now they all have LED lighting throughout, so whether you pick the Laramie or the Limited, you're going to get the LED light, so you don't get snaked out of that if you get the Laramie. And pretty much, again, wood trim up top. I think that if you're in the market and you can afford the Limited, just take the Limited. Or if you want to save the money, take the Laramie. It doesn't matter. They're both beautiful trucks. It doesn't matter which one you pick. Let's go ahead and take a look at the build on a Laramie to see how much we can add to it to make it apples to apples. Now, I'm gonna add the power running boards. It does come standard on the Limited. This truck does have the spray and bed liner. I'm just gonna add like the camera system. I'm gonna add the charging station. So I'm probably gonna add a Laramie level two. And this is show you the price point. And then hopefully from there, you guys can make a good educated decision on what truck is best for you. Let's get into it. All right guys, I don't wanna take too much time. So I built the trucks pretty identical to what you saw on the video. 67 Cummins, it's gonna come with a 68 R fee, anti spin, and I chose some of the options down below. Cold weather protection group. 
I did choose the off-road package with the Bellistines. Bed utility. And if you guys want to pause, I apologize for going so fast, but you can go online and build these yourself. I just want to show you the price point. Towing Technology Group. Laramie Level 2 was selected with the Safety Group and Night Edition. Now, as far as that Laramie Level 2, let's just see something. I did not go in here and check this out, but I believe this is going to give you that charging station for your phone the wireless charging station i don't see it but i'm pretty sure it comes in that package or it comes with the 12 inch display with that package but uh you do have your fifth wheel gooseneck prep package and on the laramie you have to select the clearance lamp so just be sure you select those if you want it i did do the power deployable running boards and I had to do bucket seats to make it apples apples as I said. Now this truck does come with the 8.4 inch display with the Laramie Level 2 so you have to upgrade to the 12 inch display so just keep that in mind. I did add a sunroof just to kind of keep it the same. All weather floor mats. All in guys we have a price of $80,420 so I did the exact same thing with the Limited. I just wanted to build it real quickly I'm not going to go through this again but you guys can see all the packages are the same I just want to show you exactly what you're getting for the money all right so you see everything's pretty much selected clearance lamps uh, I did have to choose to deploy the best up because there is no bed utility for the limited because the spray and bed liner comes standard power deployable steps come standard too. bucket seats come standard and pretty much everything else is going to be the same here so 80,000 well let's do this 84,000 725 minus 80,420. I could have did this in my head, but it's 4305. That is pretty much the difference of this. It's not, that's not a lot. I mean, if you ask me, uh, I think that the upcharge for the Limited is there. I mean, if you get real leather seats, you have a different interior from all the other trucks. And I, I just think for 4,300 bucks, you're gonna get a better deal on a limited, especially when you go to negotiate. Keep in mind, the higher the price point goes, the more options you add, the more discount you can get. I mean, you can get just off of the sale price of the truck, like seven grand off, not including holdback and not including incentive. So you can get a you know close to 12 to 15 grand off of a limited with, when you have it optioned out this way. So if you're on the market, be sure you do your research and get the best price you can because I think that if you are in the market and you're kind of between the two trucks, I just think the limited is worth the extra upcharge. But let's go ahead and finish off the video. I'm gonna show you guys the payload and that will pretty much end it from there. If you watched the last video, I went over the numbers for the limited. So be sure to check out those numbers again if you wanna see them. 10,000 pound GVWR. 6,000 pound front gross sax weight rating and 6,040 for the rear. 1,746 pounds for the door sticker. Let's check out what it would be for the Laramie. All right, guys, I'm gonna snake you for a second here. Hold on. Let's see, let's see. Okay, is it higher or lower? Let's take a look. I'm gonna show you in the comment section, don't lie. Do you think it's higher or lower? Put higher or lower, please. All right, we're gonna show it to you now. There it is. Higher, 1,884 pounds. I don't really see how it's higher because it's like the same truck, but I guess all that heavy real leather and the limited makes a huge difference. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, as I said in the last video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, guys. I need your support. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers before the end of the year. Can you guys help me get there? Help me get there, guys. See you soon. I completely forgot to do this in the last video I did with these trucks. I did not show you with the mirrors up. I always do this. Do you guys even care if I do this anymore? I just did this just for fun, but I don't have to. But I'm gonna keep doing it because I love Ram trucks and I like to see what the mirror's up to. Gives you a good perspective of how the trucks look, especially if you play on towing. See you guys.